product managers are making a giant mistake when it comes to understanding how do they leverage this AI opportunity in the product management job search. What is that loss? Stay tuned for more. So I was reading this article on AI product management by Marty Kagan and Marily Nika, who runs a course in on this topic. And one line stood up. Okay. Another important distinction is to clarify that we are focusing on AI powered applications and not underlying infrastructure. Okay. And that's the key itself. So what I normally see happen is when I ask product managers, Hey, tell me you want to get into AI product management. I understand you haven't done AI before. You might've done some courses like Marilee's course. Okay. What exactly do you want to learn and what companies are your dream companies? I get three answers. I want to be part of Google's Gemini, Bard, whatever that group. I want to be part of open AI and I want to be part of Anthropic. The thing that's fundamentally wrong is there are going to be some groups like that who are doing fundamental AI research, but that's a small sliver of the market. And it's the one that's hardest to get into. Most of the people joining, they have PhDs in machine learning or related fields. They understand these fields very, very deeply. That is not where the opportunity lies. The opportunity lies in applications. I'm going to give you some examples of companies that are leveraging AI in really good ways. And then we can talk about how you actually get into these companies. The first examples like a, a startup, but it's kind of really interesting. So their tagline is generate LinkedIn posts, say valuable time, magic post. Okay. Well, how does it work? Well, very simple. You know, I, I use it. I can ask it to gen to generate various posts using various things. And I think underlying is just probably going to use chat GPT. So, you know, it's using GPT-4, that AI model is already built. Now it's putting an application of that. Here's the cool thing. Like, you know, I could give one of my videos and say, hey, this is the kind of post I want to write. Generate it. Creates that LinkedIn post. It reads the, the transcript of the video from YouTube. Then it tra translates that into a post. And very often it's really good. I just need to do minor edits. So that's where a very innovative use of AI has been coming in. But that's not all. Okay, another example is the superhuman email app. It does a couple of really interesting things. One is it can summarize an email for me. So long email, you can click M just as the command and it summarizes for you and then you decide what you want to do. Okay, leveraging generative AI in an application that already exists. The other thing it does that's really cool is it lets you, it creates three options for you that, hey, like, what, what is the sentiment you want to respond with? Okay. And then it creates an email that's written by you. Oh, sorry, that, that's written by Superhuman. You can edit it and send it. Simplifying your workflow as you move through the day, leveraging models that already exist out there. Yeah. And, you know, a really cool example of actually leveraging AI in an application that already exists. It's already functional. Another one of my favorite examples, you can see I'm doing this right here. It's an app called Descript. It's a video editing app. So you can see I'm editing this video where, you know, which I put together with my group coaching in the intentional job search program called strategy of top companies. Now, rather than editing the video, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go and start to edit the text. So for example, if I edited this text, removed it, it will snap the video out. I can, of course, come back, control, control Z. And it, it's got a whole bunch of features here, stuff like remove filler words. So it will find whatever eight instances of filler words already exist, hit remove all, it will snap the video. And there I have my video ready. Another awesome way of editing. And like I used to use other tools before this has dramatically simplified my workflow. But how does it matter for you looking for your entry into AI product management? Remember, learn enough about AI applications. Don't try to be the expert in AI model. But what you can now do is by learning about the applications, you can understand how the user's workflow can change leveraging AI while 80% of your capabilities are still at the application level. You as a product manager, you build skill sets, 
domain knowledge, insight about users, pain points. And now where the innovation happens is you bring an AI, combine it with customer problems, combine it with your business goals, and at the end of it, you have an amazing product that, that comes out. That is what you should be doing rather than trying to get in and try to be you know, an employee at Anthropic or OpenAI. And of course, there's ways that you can accelerate your job search. This is my toolkit for product management. Scan it, make sure you check it out. It's a 10 minute video that will tell you all about what you need to do to succeed in product management. I'm compressing years of lessons, learning from other product managers in their careers. So make sure you check it out now.